And finally, we are getting uh, to the topic of remote control. So if you want uh, to access the device through the cube monitor remotely from a different device, some personal, uh, some personal computer or a smartphone, you need to just type and of course know the IP address of the host PC on which uh, the cube monitor is running uh, with the port. This is the default port which can be easily changed in the cube monitor. So what if this is my screen mir mirroring of my smartphone? What if I okay I type the IP address with the port and access the cube monitor cube monitor uh, remotely. So we are in the flow now. I will just um, change the pages to fit to my phone, and you see that okay, we are we are in the flow. And now this is very nice that when you, for example, change the flow uh, and deploy, the changes will be propagated into even into the cube monitor and uh, which is running on the host PC so you can review the changes and merge and uh, there we go and of course if I go to dashboard let's suit it to my phone you can start monitoring remotely start acquisition and there we go disable and let's change for example let's uh, change uh, the duty cycle and the frequency of the PWM okay we can see we change this or or we can as well soft counter we can uh, uh, write into the soft counter some for example let's let's clear it to zero yes we clear it and it's counting up so that's all for this session and have a nice day